Hey everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the X sheet toolbar, and this will make it a lot easier to follow along with my tutorials because I use a lot of uh, these commands quite a bit. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't see the X sheet in one of your rooms up here, then you can go to windows X sheet and it will open and then you can click and drag and dock it somewhere in your rooms. I have a video on how to customize your rooms. Uh, so be sure and check that out. And if we come up here to the X sheet right at the top, you can right click customize X sheet toolbar. Okay. And this will give you a list of commands that you can just drag over to the left. And this will be all of your uh, customizations. Okay. So for example, well, if I want to delete one, so new tunes raster level, I right click and just click remove and it takes it away. So I remove all the separators and everything I don't need. And to add something, you come over here to the search bar and we'll do new. And so it's under level new tunes raster level, which I use a lot. So I'm going to click and drag that. And this little line is where it's going to place it. So I'm going to put it at the top and this will put it to the left of my toolbar up here. Okay. And these are some of the things I use new tunes, raster level, new raster level, new vector layer or level and auto renumber. I use this one a lot because sometimes your drawings can get out of whack as far as number wise, and this will reset it to match your timeline. Uh, reframe on ones, on twos, on fours, time stretch, which is really handy. And these last three, uh, you don't have to add them right now, but when you get into working with the uh, sub X sheets, you'll want these. And that's about it. Uh, just hit OK. And now we see the buttons up here. And if, if they're unavailable, then they will gray out. Okay. So right now I can create a new level, uh, but I can't reframe cause I don't have anything selected and I can't auto renumber cause nothing selected. But if I click the side of the level, now I can auto renumber. I can work on ones, twos, fours, retime, things like that. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So until next time, Happy animating, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.